So we need to find uh, as the values of A, B, C, and D, which satisfies a given matrix equation. Um, let's start working with the left side of our equation. So we'll, we'll do the multiplication here. We get 1 times A plus 2 times C, then 1 times B plus 2 times D. Next, in the second row, we get 3 times A plus 4 times C, and 3 times B plus 4 times D. And this equals the right side of our equation. Now, since these two matrices are equal, this means that uh, their corresponding entries are equal. So we got that A plus 2C equals 6, B plus 2D equals 3, 3a plus 4c equals 19, 3b plus 4d equals 2. Uh, well, to find uh, the values of a, b, c, and d here, uh, we will subtract uh, the first th three times of equation 1 from equation 3. So uh, 3a plus 4c so this is first equation, this is second equation, this is third equation, this is fourth equation. So it's our third equation, 3a plus 4c minus 3 times our first equation, a plus 2c. And here we get 19 minus 3 times 6. Uh, let's simplify it. So it's 3a minus 3a cancels out. And 4c minus 6c is negative 2c equals 19 minus 18, so equals 1. Then we get that c equals negative 1 over 2. Now we can substitute negative 1 over 2 for c in our second equation, or in our first equation. So a plus 2c equals 6. Then a plus 2 times negative 1 over 2 equals 6. Then a minus 1 equals 6. Then a equals 7. So c equals negative 1 over 2, a equals 7. Our next step, uh, we, will, we will subtract 3 times of equation 1 from equation 4. So, um, sorry, 3 times of equation 2. So equation 4 is 3b plus 4d minus 3 times equation 2, b plus 2d. And here we get 2 minus 3 times 3. So 3b cancels out, 4d minus 6d is negative 2d equals negative 7, then d equals 7 over 2. And now we substitute 7 over 2 for d in our second equation, so b plus 2d equals 3, then uh, um, b plus 2 times 7 over 2 equals 3, then we get that b plus 7 equals 3, then b equals negative 4. So we have found all variables a equals 7, b equals negative 4, c equals negative 1 over 2, and d equals 7 over 2.